Yeah, okay, so it's going, I guess. Hey, what's up? All my, I gotta keep an eye on this. All my best shit is recorded like with the lens cap on or I record it and then it stops or uh, something like that. I don't know. I think it's still going now. I've actually finished off most of the beer that I was gonna talk about, but maybe I'll just kind of, you know, work through it and say, brain check found unexpectedly in the world famous beer refrigerator. Well, I popped it open and put it in a glass. It is brain check. I love this stuff. Check this out. Brain check. Check, 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 check. check one, check one, check one. Brain check. Uh, Spencer, do you coffee? This is Rob Lee. Brain check. Uh, brain check. One, two, three. I'm cool, right? Who wouldn't like that? Um, anyway, maybe two, two and a half months ago, I was down at Akasha on market and I attended the release of this beer and all the variants. This is the Arbol Pepper variant. When I had it first, the, the peppers were a lot more forward. A lot more pepper forward, but I still, still really liked it. I, I still really liked it. You know, I'm almost, and I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Reckon what you got's good to eat in there. You got any of them French fried potatoes? I love that. Sling blade. I think I've killed Dull Hargrave. Uh, uh, some people call it a sling blade. Some, I, don't, I, I don't know what the other part that they call it is. Doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, back to brain check. So I talked to Spencer. I had a bottle of each of the variants. And I said, man, I may, I may age some of this and just kind of see what happens. He says, no, that's not the way to go. At your house, do you make a pot of coffee and then leave it there all day and come back and drink it? No, you do not. You drink it fresh. Fresh is the key. Read on the bottle where it says, coffee is best fresh. Keep cold. Drink now. Look, I don't need to be told to drink stuff now. And I did do some of what it said on the bottle. This is kind of the story of my life. I mean, I do part of stuff, not enough to really make things right. But anyway, I, uh, I did keep it cold and it got back behind some other inventory in the world famous beer refrigerator, hashtag WFBR. But today I have found it and it's 9% Imperial Coffee Stout with cocoa nibs, cinnamon, vanilla, and Arbol peppers. Now this was probably my favorite variant when they first released it. Now here we are a little bit later. Let's see what I think. I've already drunk a lot of this, but the lens cap was on and the audio, the, the audio part wasn't working. So um, I already know what I think. You don't know. You don't know. Mm-hmm. We're still recording. I got to check that. Yeah, we're still good. So maybe you've heard people who don't drink coffee say, you know, if coffee actually tasted like it smells when it's being brewed, you couldn't keep me away from it. I would drink it and drink it and drink it and drink it, right? Well, that first nose from this is that rich, bold, velvety, I don't know what kind of coffee you used in this, but Man, I mean, super great. If it just a coffee stout, you'd love it. But then that vanilla and cocoa are married together, yet they maintain their independence. It's a perfect union, a perfect union. It's like an ideal marriage, right? I got the vanilla. The cinnamon is the one thing that I didn't ever really understand. I would say the Arbol pepper and the cinnamon give it a snap. And I think that the, the pepper, the cinnamon, the, the bite, the kind of sharpness or snap was maybe a little bit more forward when it was fresh. It's still there. Still really nice. It still says, hey now. 
but at the same time, it's not so uh, pepper forward that you go, oh, it's a pepper beer. No, it is not. It's a rich, velvety, imperial coffee stout with cocoa and vanilla married together yet at the same time individual. So if you can find a bottle of this, I think it sold out the actual day that they released it so you probably won't be able to. But if you could, damn it's good. If you can't, yeah, you know, hate to hear that. Sorry about your luck. You know what else I'm sorry about? 9% 22 ounces, all wasted on yours truly. It's kind of sad, isn't it? I'll talk to you later.